So basically what we're doing here is uh, we're doing a little test drive of this of my Explore. Um, even though all the stuff we're going to be doing is you know a couple months away from us, but uh, um, I just want to give you an idea of how this rides and daily driving conditions on you know um, average roads. Um, another thing I'm I'm going to give you before of is the uh, fuel economy. I mean right now we're getting uh, 13 miles per gallon city driving. <clears throat> And so once the suspension work is done, we're going to change out the um, the air intake. We're going to put a throttle body extender on it, and uh, we're going to put an electric fan on, new exhaust, a new catalytic converter, and new ignition coil. And uh, once all that's done, and the suspension work is done, we can do the after of all that work.
Okie dokie, before we just end this video, I'm in the middle of editing it. No. Wait. Oh man, that's just nasty. So here's the final list. I've got six pages of, uh, of parts. Um, bit up there. Um, that'll be less. <laughs> this, is, this is not including the torsion bars, leaf springs, and the sway bars. This is just the main stuff that I order from uh, Auto Parts Warehouse. But um, I finalized the list and made a little bit, um, um, pretty much just added everything that I can think of that needs to be changed. Um, so, got a pack of 
uh, Motocraft spark plugs. These are Platinums, and I think they're they actually have the right thread for the Explorer. So um, with these, um, since they're Platinum, it'll it should burn cleaner and more efficiently. So um, with this, the throttle body spacer and the exhaust in the intake and the electric uh, fan, this should make it get a really good fuel economy. Um, I'm shooting for at least a uh, minimum of 15 and a maximum of 16 to 17 in the city and hopefully we can get about 20 or more on the highway. That's about the same as uh, the new 2011 Explorer. So um, I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah, so just for, just in case, uh, we're gonna, um, along with that, we'll get a throttle body gasket. I might wanna get two just in case. We got a new uh, idle air control valve. Uh, gaskets, um, new leaf spring shackles, I want brand new ones to go with the new springs. We've got our door seals, this is the electric fan. Um, I've seen some, someone actually use this um, on their Ranger and uh, the, the setup was pretty much the same as my Explorer. I mean they do use the same friggin motor so yeah. I uh, picked out different tail lights uh, so that's, that's the second page. Those are our headlights that's our third brake light. Uh, this is the uh, shock absorber controller, and these are the new shocks. New, oh, excuse the laughter. New ignition coil, new air intake, new uh, thermostat, new radiator hoses, another radiator hose, new water pump. There's our uh, catalytic converter, our exhaust system. Here's our uh, rear sway bar links, front links. Um, I'm actually just, like I said in the last limited uh, rims video, I'm just going to change that to uh, 2 So it will not be $900. It should be more like uh, 3 something. Almost 300 Or almost 400 I guess. I don't know. Uh, and then this is our airlift springs. Um, where did the... Oh, actually, I'm going to have to take this out of the thing because I'm, I'm going to wait on that. Um... Oh, here's the thing. So I, I may get it, but I'm I'm kind of reluctant to because I don't know if the springs will actually work on my uh, Explorer. But we'll find out. Um, and then we got a power steering filter. Uh, kind of smash the things together. And then we got our power steering hoses, rack and pinion, outer tie rod ends, a leveling kit that I might not get. And then we have the uh, wheel bearings for the front, uh, front control arms. Oh, I just rem remember something. I hope that I hope these two are different. Um, I'll double check those because um, one of them should be uh, uh, just the control arm, no bushings. It should just be a, it's a bolt-on kind of thing. And then we have our lower control arms. And then from Ford and another site, uh, or from Ford, from Ford we'll get the springs, and then. Uh, from another place, steelend.com or something like that, we'll get the sway bar from them. Those are the aftermarket high performance ones. So, uh, when it's all said and done, this thing is going to ride like a brand new car. So, yeah. Bye bye now.